Hello everyone, this is Ali with a quick and informal Q&A to an online question that had come up regarding the use of EndoSync. If you recall from my previous videos, when using EndoSync with ESX technique, I had recommended dividing instrumentation into three phases or column steps. Phase one or step one is instrumentation to get to the working length. Step two is connecting the EndoSync to the EndoSync AI Apex locator to measure the canal working length and then disconnecting it for step three, which is the remainder of instrumentation to achieve the master file. I'm simply communicating the whole process and these steps in order to make it easier as to why we have different settings that are helpful for each step. Just keep in mind that during working length measurement, which is step two, I had recommended using the apical stop setting for the handpiece, which brings the file to a full stop once Apex is reached and the Apex locator tells the handpiece. This was so that the file comes to a stop, which allows you or your assistant to move that silicone stopper to a reference point in order to capture an analog working length measurement for your other files. Now, the question that had come up and is something that I have seen clinically myself is that when the file comes to a full stop as it reaches the apex, the handpiece doesn't reactivate to make the file turn as you want to remove it from the canal. And sometimes it requires a little bit of force. Most of the time it comes out easy after it's stopped, but sometimes if you have a very tight canal and the file comes to a full stop at the apex, it's a little bit hard and some people are uncomfortable with that. You can simply disconnect the apex locator from the handpiece once you have captured the length and then that will basically allow the file to move out. Anyway, just wanted to share this uh, with you because I, I just got this question about the specific thing and I think it's a legitimate uh, and important question. So I figured I'll share it with you guys here. Stay tuned for the EndoSync handpiece uh, full review that's gonna be coming up soon. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.